Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. Thank you so much for tuning in and happy Friday. My name is Katie O'Neill. I'm coming to you live here from sunny Frederick, Colorado at Trans West Truck Trailer RV. Uh, you can always reach me at TTT RV where you'll find all of our Trans West videos or you can find my personal uh, station at hashtag RVs Inside Out. It's RVS I N S I D O U T on YouTube. Uh, today we're broadcasting live on Facebook. So if you've got any questions or comments, please just let us know down below. Uh, right now we're going to walk a fantastic Winnebago Navion 24V. This is a 2023 and I can't wait to tell you more about it. But as usual, I love to start my RVs from the inside out. So Jody, go ahead and take her on back. Uh, today's unit's really special. It's got the theater seat package, which is a really nice feature, um, something that we don't see very frequently. And uh, definitely a fantastic coach, especially for those of you who want to have a very comfortable sleeping area. So one of the best things about this 24V is the fact that you've got separation from your sleeping quarters versus your living space. So really nice for those of you who might wanna go camping with the grandkids. Maybe you've got a little one that needs to lay down and take a nap. Maybe you just like to sleep in. However it might be, you have a fantastic bedroom here. Really, really large, lots of room to sleep. And as you look around you, you'll see that there's three very large windows here in the back of this RV. So really, really love this. Um, this is a big feature of this coach. Now, one of the things to talk about is that this rear bed is a 32 by 74 and a 32 by 78. So one side is a little longer than the other. What's nice about that is if you've got someone who's taller in the family, you'll be able to go ahead and have both people be comfortable. The total width of this bed all in is 74 by 87. So this is larger than a king size bed. Really, really like that feature of this RV. Uh, another nice aspect of this, of course, is that you have cross ventilation. So these windows open up, they're really big on either side. So as you can see, you're gonna have ventilation coming here all the way across to the other window on the other side. And then of course you've got these really nice MCD shades. So you've got your day and night shades. And then I love this interior. Uh, all of these light cabinets just make it a little more airy. So it's a push to release latch. They'll stay up on their own. Um, you've got a 15,000 BTU air, conditioning on, air conditioner on top of this unit. Uh, so you can see these vents here. I can go ahead and adjust those, open them up and close them depending on whether or not um, I want the air on me or in this coach. And then I've got a 20,000 BTU heat, uh, heat pump on top of the unit as well. So lots of, uh, lots of ability to stay nice and comfortable uh, while you're camping. Uh-oh, am I stuck? All right, so these little push to release knobs are super nice because they'll keep everything in place and you'll see that when I lock them, I just push in like this, they stay locked. And then over here underneath, I have this great storage capacity. So I can actually put my wallet up here, I can put my phone up here, and I can even get everything up and running and charging. And if I want, I can plug it in over here at our two USB ports, our 110 outlets, or our nine volts. So everything that I could possibly want right here, along with some reading lights, and these do change colors, so you can have different colors depending on what you're trying to accomplish. If you don't want that bright light, you have a blue light option as well. And then on this other side, you'll see we have that same feature. So we have another place to keep your wallet, your cell phone, your sunglasses, all of those things. And you don't have to put it all the way to the roof, but you can. And there's another two 110 outlets, another nine volt, another two USBs, and another reading light. Again, fantastic storage in this coach. Um, the, nine, the 24V is honestly probably my favorite coach. I know that the 24D uh, gets a lot of notoriety uh, because of its layout and having that Murphy bed. But one of the things to think about when you're camping is if you find yourself in a situation where you can't put your slides out, this coach has got great sleeping accommodations with or without those slides uh, extracted or sorry, not a <laughs> popped out. Let's just go with popped out today. No big words. Um, so not only that, but it also has really good storage capacity, not only inside the coach, but also underneath. Uh, now, speaking of storage capacity, as you can see here, we've got great drawers on either side. So lots and lots of uh, storage uh, underneath the bed. 
You'll notice that this bed is one of those fantastic, uh, you know, these frilly beds are so nice because they are so good at uh, keeping you nice and comfortable. They really feel like you've got a spring mattress underneath you. Um, in the 24V, you also have a second TV. So if you do have littles, let's say that you guys want to watch a movie back here that's maybe not so entertaining for young ones and you want to let them go ahead and watch a TV up in the front. You can both watch different uh, television stations. And you know, when it's raining and you're camping, that's a really nice feature to have uh, the ability for everyone to come in and get comfortable and be on their own page. So I adjusted these shelves down a little bit. I wanted to point this out. One of the things that's important to me, these are really easy to adjust. Um, but when you are camping, you've got a whole bunch of different things that you're trying to, there we go, uh, that you're trying to store. So you can have your clothing hanging up here, but you can have these nice and low. You can have small shelves where maybe you keep your first aid kit. Uh, maybe you keep your toiletry bag down here, but this is a really flexible unit. Um, and then right here, you'll see there's these two hooks on the ceiling. And this is a soft touch ceiling, just so you know, but these two hooks are for hanging a curtain down. So again, if you have a little that you wanna put down for a nap, you can do that and you could still sit out in the front. Again, more hanging space here. This is just the tray for the microwave and, con and uh, convection oven. This is the curtain. And then I'm gonna put the table back so you can see how that goes when it's stowed today. Um, I think that that's a really nice feature of this coach. Um, now here we go, a nice American made product. Um, so I've been talking to quite a few people about this 24V chip. I wanna make sure I cover everything for you. I know that this is a unit that you and I had been looking at. So hello and thanks for tuning in today. Kay, I hope you're out there too. Um, I really like to make these videos for everybody. Um, and I love you know to personalize things, answer questions. So if you've got comments or questions, you can always text me, uh, reach out to me. I'm always available. Um, I talked to Kay yesterday on my day off uh, for you know 45 minutes or so. No problem, give me a holler. I just love helping people with their RV purchases. Uh, now up here you'll see we have our solar power uh, here. We also have our slide controls here. And what's really nice about this whole system is that you can read your Xantrex, your inverter, everything is in this one nice consolidated area. And then when you cover it up, it all just kind of blends in. There's not a bunch of gadgets or, or you know, buttons sticking out in the coach. It really has a nice refined look. Uh, but back to American made, 75% of this Winnebago is made at Winnebago. So they are a true manufacturer. And when they use parts and pieces uh, throughout the country, they always try to source them as they can in America. So this Norcold uh, uh, 10 cubic foot refrigerator and freezer is an American made product. So kudos to Winnebago for keeping it at home, um, for supporting our local economy, our local uh, workers. And you know, really if you go to Forest City and you meet the crew that lives um, in Iowa, oh, can I close this for us, Jody? So I love this, it's like, look at that, so isn't that cool? You know what that's for? Prosecco. So you can keep a Prosecco in your refrigerator. <laughs> just kidding, I always make these liquor drinks. I swear, I don't drink very often, folks. But when I do, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Joey's like, open the door, Katie. Okay, so this is kind of an interesting uh, shower situation. This clothes rack is, of course, removable, so you don't need to have this here. You've got a nice skylight. You've got your adjustable shower head here as well. And then you have this self-cleaning, oops, the self-cleaning uh, shower screen. And I just think that that's so cool, so easy to keep everything nice and tidy in your coach. And Winnebago does such a fantastic job. I don't know if you noticed this, but when you came in today, you came in through a screen that was very much like this door. So all these retractable units allow us to have so much living space in such, uh, such a small unit. Uh, so your medicine cabinet here, of course, has a great mirror on it. Another push to release. And then one of, the, one of these videos, I had someone uh, send me some feedback and they said, Katie, do you know that that's actually a tissue paper holder if you want it to be? And I was like, no, I had no idea. How smart. Um, so that being said, if you have comments or anything that I need to know that I might be missing, let me know. Um, so now you'll see here, we have this little Truma AquaGo um, controller here. That is because this coach has endless hot water. It's got a tankless hot water heater on it. Uh, it's running off of your propane tank. It's a 50 gallon propane tank. Um, the flying W here could be a washcloth holder. It could be a place to hang your jewelry at the end of the day. You know, maybe you've got your glasses on a chain, whatever it is that you don't wanna lose, you can hang right there. You've got your two 110 outlets. You can turn your water pump on and off very easily. 
You've also got this nice shower control so you can clean out the toilet very easily. Um, as you can see here, nice good room here for sitting. And I know that this sounds silly, but you know, you want to make sure you can actually be comfortable here. And this is a really comfortable uh, space. Now down here underneath, we've got plenty of room to keep a tote full of all of your goods. Um, certainly if you wanted to keep your cleaning supplies in here, you could, but you could also keep all of your, uh, you know, um, sun, sun tan lotion, uh, you know, bug spray, all that stuff over here in these nice shelves. So again, here's Winnebago making fantastic use out of a very, very small uh, space. And I mean, one of the things I think is so big is this compressor refrigerator. How nice is it that if you're at a tilt or on an angle, it'll still keep things cool for you. And it's so much bigger than that of our smaller vans, like our Revel or our, um, our uh, Solus products. It's got so much more capacity if you want to be out a little bit longer. And then check this out. How smart is that to put all of your towel uh, towels on the back of your door. I mean, that's exactly where you need them when you get out of the refrigerator or when you get out of the refrigerator. <laughs> okay, you guys, I usually do my videos on Mondays. And since it's not a Monday, I'm going to go ahead and make it one. Um, when you get out of the shower, you'll have your towel there. So <laughs> that's pretty funny. Okay. So Greystone here is our convection and microwave oven. So what a nice luxury to have uh, below that. Of course, we have this little shelf. I mean, what a great place to keep some hot pads, you know, so you've got something if you're taking it out of the oven, you can keep your little mitts there. You've got your uh, really nice burner, again, 50 gallons of propane, and then your true induction cooktop. This is so cool. Let's say you have uh, the grandkids on a trip with you. You know, you're at Yellowstone making a nice breakfast and you're like, hey, Sally, will you go ahead and make us some breakfast? She doesn't have to use the open burner. You can use this true induction cooktop. And where this is so fantastic for families is I could put a paper towel down on top of this cooktop and I can put my, um, I like to use the all clad copper core. Those are also American made pans um, on this uh, cooktop. You can get anything. They sell stuff at Walmart. The copper core just tends to heat fast and evenly. But when I put that pot down and I turn this on to high, I can boil water in about a third of the time it would take on the regular burner. Or if little Sally's making me some eggs, I don't have to worry about her starting a fire in the RV. And I know that that's stuff we don't want to talk about, but it's real. Um, so that's a really cool feature of this cooktop area. Um, of course, this drawer space down below is incredible. Again, Winnebago makes this product. Um, so when you go to the factory and you watch them assemble these, um, you know, soft closed drawers, putting everything together. One of the things that they do that I think is so fascinating is they make their own tanks. So they take this powdered plastic, they put it inside of different molds and they can actually shape the way the water tanks are. They can shape the way the black water tanks are. And what that does is it gives Winnebago to give this coach so much balance that it's actually within 100 pounds from left to right. So you don't have that wobbling going down that road. You don't have that shifting. You've got a really nice, easy to drive coach. And of course that's super important. And if anyone knows how to build an RV the right way after all of these years, since the sixties, it would be Winnebago. That's why they have their reputation. But even more importantly, this table, for instance, I have in place cause I wanted to show you how you would be able to eat. I also turned around uh, the driver's side seat and I put the cushion on it because a lot of people say, well, what is that cushion for? Well, that's just to bring you up to height. So if I was sitting here, I could even put this table over here, but I would be at the same height as everybody else because I've got my cushion on the seat. Um, but what I wanted to show you is that this table, when I take it apart, let's say that my puppy decides to get a little bit uh, car carnivorous, table liver, table liverous, right? <laughs> That's when you want to eat a table, not when you want to eat meat. Um, but if he eats my table, there's this little number here. I can actually tell Winnebago, hey, Guess what? Fido ate my, ate my table. He chewed it all up. It looks really gross. And I want to, you know, I want to get, you know, want to put this coach on the market for sale, or I just want to use it. And I don't want it to look yucky. I can order this piece. I can order this cushion. I could order this cabinet because all of these parts have part numbers on them. And when you go to Winnebago, the craziest thing is you walk in, uh, to the stitch craft area where, I mean, all these fantastic people are sewing all the parts that go on this coach from the curtain that you hang up in between to the pillows to everything else. Better turn that around, huh? And uh, 
they're there, but there's these bolts of fabric. And I cannot even tell you how crazy it is. They have these bolts of fabric from back in the 70s. You can get cushions on your coach remade for you and keep your RV up to snuff for as long as you feel like taking care of it. And look at how smart that is. I am gonna put that table leg back there too, Jody. So let me go grab that. Um, I'm trying uh, today to make sure I can show you all of the functionality. And so I have a really big RV. What that means is I have a hard time making U-turns. Parking is an issue. Um, I have to stop at Walmart or at Safeway on my way into the campground because I'm not gonna feel like jumping back in, pulling in my slides and running down to the grocery store. That is not the case with this coach. You buy this coach, you take it up to Yellowstone. Maybe you're not camping in the park. No big deal, not a problem. You couldn't get that government reserved lottery only site. You can still pop in your slides, jump in your coach, take it for a ride, go have a picnic, and then bring it back to camp at night because this RV is so functional and so easy to operate and use. And it holds so many people so well. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna put this back just so you can see how this works. So the warning label was upside down. I wouldn't want anyone not to see that. Okay. <laughs> I think it's so funny. We have warning labels on everything. Anyhow, so there's your, there's your stowage for your table. So super, super cool. And of course, like we talked about earlier, when you're camping, you're not trying to be inside. You're trying to be outside, right? Um, but if you find yourself inside, it's usually because it's kind of icky outside. And maybe you just want to sit back and relax and watch the game. How nice is this? His and hers recliners, hers and hers, his and his, theirs, however you want to do it. But super, super cool with a ton of storage up on top. Once again, um, when you take a look at the Winnebago packaging, it's so cool. This whole entire coach has been gone through and all of the information you need is in that little bag. We get these on trade. They might be, you know, 10 years old. And there's like little dog ears and bookmarks and, and little highlights of the things that were important to that owner. But you always get these books back because we understand um, as consumers how important it is to be able to operate your coach. But there seems to be like this kind of reverence or respect that you get um, from our consumers. And I think it's because it's such an easy to use and fantastic product. It attracts people who really want to buy something that's well made. Now I did want to just show you that you will have both day and night shades. Um, the reason I'm bringing this at, at your attention is because I have been in some of our competition and they don't have these nice features. Um, and it's really unusual to me that you wouldn't have both a day and a nightshade in your coach. You also have these fantastic dual pane windows that slide open. And then up here, if you take a look at this, this is that curtain that separates the kids uh, from you so that they can sleep. I cannot tell you how many cute photos I've seen of littles up here in this bunk. You can put two little kids up here. You can put two adults up here, but two little kids snuggling up here is such an adorable uh, sight to behold. And as you can see back here, we've got two USB ports. Again, another nine volt outlet, another two 110 outlets. And I have this window closed where the, where the nightlight is so that I can show you what it looks like when it's open as well. But as you can see, if you've got someone who wants to sleep in, oh, get that, get zoom in on that little Winnebago sticker. Look at that, how cool is that? Attention to detail, folks. I'm telling you, these guys really know how to do it. And check this out. So put your ladder away. Anyone ever have that problem when they get into another uh, comparable coach or competitive manufacturer? Put your ladder away and it doesn't stay away. What a great feature. This stays away just like you would want it to. Um, so again, just great space. Again, you've got another uh, nice vent here. So, you know, throughout this coach, you're going to have great circulation. You've got your uh, Mach 1 air conditioner, Mach 3, I guess, air conditioner up here. That's fantastic as well. And then here you've got a wonderful sound bar as well as television. So we love that feature. And where is my release? Do we have a question? I don't know if that one opens. Okay, so, but no, there is under here, Jody, take a look. So this is your paper towel dispenser. Mm -hmm. So super, super important to have that here. And then back here is where you have your uh, USB port and it does open. I just gotta figure out how, there it goes. 
Okay, so paper towel dispenser, and then you have your, um, your Blu-ray player, and then more storage up here for keeping any kind of, you know, video game player if you want, if you want to play PlayStation, and then a nice little spot here that actually has quite a bit of room to keep DVDs. Um, okay, so next, okay, we got through the kitchen, except for check this out. Cutting boards, anyone? Bamboo cutting boards? Okay, once again, let's go back to what we were talking about earlier. Let's say that I actually want to use these. I don't know. I don't want to have cut marks on them. Check it out. How about this? Why don't you ask me when you buy your Navion if I'll order you a replacement so you can keep one on storage. And then whenever you want to use this, you don't have to feel bad about using it because you know you've got a clean one back at home. Um, it's just such a cool feature. And again, if you use it for the next five years and you decide that you need a replacement, you can call Winnebago and they'll make you another one. It's just really a, a game changer in my opinion. Uh, so of course, nice spray and pour faucet here. And then check this out. This is insane. How much room do you have underneath here? It is just incredible. And then there's your, there's your whole house water filter. This is just, in, and there's a place here to keep all your cleaning supplies. You could put a whole entire tub of beach towels, uh, limit, linens, blankets, whatever you needed underneath here. It's just so much storage. It's so impressive. Really, really love this coach. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put these back in place. How easy is it to get this coach ready to go down the road? Now this RV has, uh, it's kind of the middle ground between the water capacities. Um, the largest capacity is gonna be in the J. Uh, this coach though has 31 gallons of fresh water. All of our products, the 24J, the 24V, and the 24D all have 41 gallons of gray water and 41 gallons of black water. So great storage capacities uh, by Winnebago. Now I wanna talk a little bit about some of the other features that you see here. Again, we, we know we have our blinds here, but we also have a blind here built into the door. We can do this because Winnebago actually, when you get there, they'll show you this great factory tour. They take these sheets of uh, plastic, they heat them up to 400 degrees, and then they drop them on forms so they can make this door. They can make the window surrounds. They can make everything that goes into this and they can make it so that you have all of this functionality, including a little pocket here, a little waste container here. But one of my favorite features about this coach is going to be right here. Check this out. How nice is that? Anybody ever want to get some fresh air in their coach, but not the mosquitoes? What a great, great feature. Uh, again, here we have another flying W. What do we use it for? Who knows, hanging up your raincoat, maybe you put your umbrella on that. Um, and then down here we have the optional equalizer leveling system. So one of the great features about this is that when you get to camp, all you have to do is put power and auto level, all of those uh, hydraulic jacks will go ahead and level for you. And there's an app that you can use for not only equalizer, but also for your carefree awning package. We are gonna do, I think we can do this today. It has been so windy. We're gonna get this awning out though. Today is like 60 degrees. Um, and so, hey Taylor, I know you're at home and you're not feeling well. I'm happy that you allowed me to fill in and make this video. Chip and I had been talking about theater seats. So it's really fun to be able to show those to him. Um, but I hope you feel better. Taylor's at home today and I was like, oh yeah, let me make a video when it's not negative three out. That sounds fantastic. <laughs> Cause Jody and I have been seriously, like we've had like frostbite on our hands when we've come in the last few days from our videos. So come on out, Jody. Let's just take a look from outside the coach here. And on our way down, I wanted to show some of these controls that are down below. So easy to operate. As you can see, everything is very, very uh, well laid out. You've got your coach on and off. You have your um, carefree awning packages on and off. Ooh, can I push out that light button? Let me do that. Let's turn this light on. Let's go ahead and turn on our living room light. And then over here in the far left, you have your chassis on and off. So everything is in one fell swoop, super easy to turn on and off. But I love the fact that you have your living room can be illuminated. So one of the nicest features about this coach is that you have this built-in LP 
uh, tank that's 50 gallons. There's a quick connect right here. So if you want to bring your fire pit out here, you get an Outlander fire pit here in Colorado. We have fire bands all the time. Bring your fire pit out here, put out your RV carpet, open up your living room, turn on your lights and sit back and relax and enjoy the time with your family. This is such a great RV for that feature. Um, and again, just so nice to be able to, um, to be able to come out here. We've got illumination here on our door as well. Um, as you can see here, uh, we have great ease of entry through these steps, but more importantly, do you know what this is? This is a little latch to put your puppy on. So if you wanna hang out here with your dog and you know that you can give her a long leash, but you don't want her to run off uh, to the next campsite, she can hang out here with you because you've got a nice place to leash up your dog while you're gone for the day. Um, this has got the upgraded seats by Mercedes-Benz. So side impact airbags. This is a lumbar support feature here. So this allows you to put your lumbar higher, lower, more and less. This little guy here is how you swivel this seat around. Both of these do turn around. Um, as you can see here, we've got a ton of capacity for storing. What would you put in there, folks? Sunglasses, 100%. Great room for sunglasses. Uh, one of your large water bottles, if you're a hiker, you can put your large water bottle here. Some of your maps, maybe your birding books. Lots and lots of room. And then as you can see here, you've got lock, unlock, heated seats. Hello, they must know my name. And then check this out. So, you know, all of us wish that our uh, seat controls were up here on the door. Mercedes-Benz has a patent to this. You can, you can have them, but it costs quite a bit of money. But because this is built on that Mercedes-Benz three liter chassis, you've got storage for one, two, and three seats, as well as heated seats, lock and unlock. Just overall, a great, great coach. And it still has an ocean handle. Am I allowed to say that on TV? Okay, I just said that. So if I'm not, hey, Andrew, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> all right, so let's check this out. So up and underneath, lots of storage. And then as you can see, one of the cool features about this, I can plug that little hole and keep everything from coming in. But if I wanna be able to rinse this bay out, I can do it in, it's super simple, it's plastic, and there's a drain hole right there at the bottom. Um, I know we've already talked about the Quick Connect, but just so handy. One of my favorite things is not camping next to a window. So having something on my campsite where I could bring my barbecue t uh, t table, cause I have a table with a little barbecue on it that would actually fit in this coach. Um, I could bring that out and away from the coach just by running my connect and I'm not on the wrong side of the RV, which is so handy. Uh, here we have our diesel, I'm sorry, our Odin generator. This is a quiet gas generator. This is running off of your LP tank. Um, so for those of you who wonder, um, there's a number of different ways to order these coaches. You can get them with diesel generators or gas generators. One of the benefits of the diesel generator is it's running off of your diesel tank. We've got a 24 gallon diesel tank, that's nice. Um, one of the benefits of your gas generator though is that it's a little bit quieter so if you do your reviews and you read about your quiet generators the benefit you have with gas is that it is going to be a little bit quieter not a whole lot not a huge decibel difference but a little bit quieter the other thing is it's much less expensive so if you're curious about that price point let me know i would be happy to walk through that with you so here again another nice uh, plastic storage bay easy to clean out, easy to stow, but right above that, right below this, this Navion uh, sign is one of my favorite features. Jody and I were talking about what coach is the best. For me, I like to have my stuff with me. I love something where I could actually get my lawn chairs in here or my paddleboard or my golf clubs. Holy mackerel. What a great amount of space in here. Um, I think that that's really important. As you can see here, there is a ladder to get up onto the back of this coach. I don't think I would find myself up there, but if you'd like to do it, you can. Uh, your rear view backup camera on this coach, everything is so much better these days because of our higher camera uh, quality. Um, the backup camera is fantastic. This is a really easy to drive coach. Uh, you've got your LED lights here. Um, you've got your reflectors, all of your safety features. Here you have a little puck light which you just turn on and off by pushing a button. So this is illuminated. If you get to your campsite late at night and you've got to get everything set up, you're going to have functionality throughout the RV. Uh, you've got a 5,000 pound towing capacity here as well as your seven pin connector already set. So easy to plug and play if you're towing a vehicle. That is how we get most of our vehicles out here from 
uh, Forest City. We, they come out uh, in uh, a lot of times with someone towing them, just like you see this guy over here on his big Ventana. You can see he's loading up, getting his Jeep all set up there. You can do that on this coach. You can go ahead and put your Wrangler on the back, head out to Moab, really have some fun camping. Um, if your kids get all wet and gross, you can have a hot and cold water uh, or shower head here. Very easy to use uh, control system. Your 30 amp is right here. As you can see, there's a little notch here so that you can run your power cord out and still keep this closed. Uh, right above this, you have your Truma AquaGo system. This is gonna be what's giving you your tankless hot water heater. And this is also where you would winterize your coach. If you feel like your hot water heater's not working, it might be on the off position, which is in the middle. On is up or down. So that's an important feature to, to understand. There's, we get a lot of phone calls where they're like, I don't have any hot water. And we're like, oh, turn it on. <laughs> okay, so uh, black waste tank inlet. This is gonna be for flushing your tank so you can flush that tank. Um, and then as you can see here, one of the nice features, look at these rims. So Winnebago does such a good job. They know that these nice aluminum rims are going to have less reverberation. Uh, they're gonna be quieter going down the road and they're gonna give you a much better drive. So much better than having what we call steelies. Um, here you have your gray water tank rinse out, black water tank rinse out. Everything is super easy to access. And you can see I can access that even with my slide open. And then here we have Again, that 50 gallon uh, propane tank right here. Very easy to fill, easy access. And then wouldn't it be convenient to have a place to tie up your pooch on the other side of the coach as well? Absolutely, we have that here. Uh, you've got heated power mirrors. And let's go ahead and just open this up. Give us an opportunity to take a look in this cab. I am gonna turn this seat around and show you some of the controls, but before I come in to do that, this is just a nice opportunity to show you you have automatic headlamps here. You also have fog lamps here. You also have these really cool on and off and then swivel uh, air conditioning um, vents, which is so nice. You can actually get that air where you like it. Again, heated programmable memory seats, and then they are power for the top. Keep in mind the bottom mirror needs to be manually operated. And this is your best friend. So make sure before you hit the road, you get this right where you need it because this is gonna be the one that shows you who's low and low and go right next to you. I am gonna show off uh, this V6. Before I do that though, this is where you put your diesel. Um, I built my own Sprinter uh, RV in 2014. I designed it from the ground up. I highly recommend you leave it to the experts. I had it for uh, seven years. I put 80,000 miles on it. Um, but it kind of melted and on that note that's one of the things that Winnebago does best uh, we know how to build a coach without having to worry about uh, the weather affecting it and it's not because Winnebago is just you know lucky there's a guy named Kurt I think he's in building 16 at Winnebago I call him Kurt the destroyer his job is to rattle to shake to cook to figure out what makes this coach fail so that he can go back to Winnebago and they can fix it before you buy it. So there's something very, very important in that, uh, what that Winnebago does is they don't just test uh, the satisfaction of the client, they test the quality of the product, ensuring the satisfaction of the client. It's such a different approach and it's so important. Now here underneath this hood, you're gonna find that you have uh, very easy to access your oil, uh, you got your filters, everything is super simple. Your def goes in right here. Uh, this does take def. Um, one of the things I hear a lot um, about these coaches is that, um, oh, it's so hard to get in for service. It's really not. Uh, you just have to think uh, correctly as a consumer. Keep in mind, you're going on vacation in two weeks. Oh, I should get the oil changed. Okay, the guy who's driving the Mercedes Benz, the plumber, the painter, the contractor, they probably have drivers that are on a schedule. As long as you recognize that they are probably scheduling out two or three services in advance, and you say, you know what, we're gonna go on a camping trip in July. We need to make sure we schedule our appointment for the beginning of that month. And you do it four or five months in advance, you're always gonna have an easy time. Mercedes-Benz roadside assistance is great. 
you are going to be able to get assistance in, the, in an emergency. But if your emergency is that you forgot to schedule your oil change, you may find yourself dismayed. Uh, they may not be able to squeeze you in. There's a lot of other things and a lot of clients that have appointments in advance, uh, just like you would. And, you know, they won't push you out of the way. They won't push those other consumers out of the way. So keep that in mind. You know, when you buy a Navion from me, I'll make sure I kind of walk through all of the good, you know, tips and benefits that you need to take advantage of or, you know, look out for. But keep in mind, scheduling your service in advance for Mercedes-Benz on these Sprinter trucks will allow you to be a much happier consumer. Um, I love here you have this really fantastic LED light strip that glows. Um, if you're ever in a foggy situation, um, these LED high performance headlamps are really second to none. Very, very cool uh, aspect of this coach. Jody, I'm going to go ahead and open this door for you and I'm going to turn around. Oh, I did. I brought out your box of stuff. So you also get all this stuff, your little hose and stuff. Um, this stuff's okay. If you, um, so Joe and Barb, um, I'm going to be out to see you on Tuesday. I don't know. Uh, I think we had talked about Wednesday, but I am going to fly out uh, to hand you the keys to your 2020, uh, 23, uh, 24 V that you ordered from me in August. Uh, Joe and Barb came out folks. Uh, they did a full walk around with Wade Phoenix had a fantastic experience. They went shopping in our parts department, got a much better, uh, you know, black water hose than that with had like clear elbows, uh, got some cool lawn chairs. Uh, got some, you know, uh, pr water pressure regulators, things like that that you need as a consumer to have. And we're putting all of those things in their 24V, and then we're gonna deliver that coach to them. So one of the things I think is really important to understand is not only do we have a campsite over here, so just over this fence, there's actually a number of uh, poles with 50 amp plug-in, 30 amp plug-in, for after you take delivery, if you wanna stay here, Get your sea legs on, do your full walk around, have us go over the vehicle with you, and then camp for a day or two before you take off on your adventure you can. But another thing that's really important to understand, we are a huge semi-truck company. We have 43 different branches, and we have nine drivers that drive for us professionally. This coach is gonna be driven out to Arkansas and hand-delivered. The client got their full benefit of a walk around. Uh, we tabulated what that cost would be in advance of their trip you know, so they knew what to expect. But we're gonna go ahead and have this coach uh, driven out to Arkansas. I'm gonna fly out, hand the keys over, make sure they understand exactly what they're getting, how to use it. And it's a really cool feature uh, where if you've thought, you know, God, I really wish I could buy a coach from Katie at, you know, Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. But man, I live in Pennsylvania. I gotta tell you folks, 70% of my sales are out of state and I am more than happy to accommodate getting this RV to your front door after you've taken delivery if you don't feel comfortable driving it all the way back or if you just don't have time. Uh, so keep that in mind. Huge service that we offer here at this dealership. Uh, I'm gonna go in here now and flip this seat around and we're gonna talk about some of the cool features on the inside of this coach. So uh, Mercedes-Benz uh, really, oh, Got to take my cushion off, Jody. Okay, so now that I am the, the proper height here, uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the things that we need to know as a consumer. First of all, to operate your slides, you need to have your coach on. Now I have not started the RV, but as you can see, it's on the on mode. Now that the coach is on, you can see both of my doors are open. I'm gonna fix that. Um, Go ahead and close that volume down. So the voice control on this is fantastic. The other thing that's really neat about this head unit is that you can actually change it to different profiles. Oh, there it is. So you see up here where it says profiles, you can have multiple profiles here. Now, when I think of profiles, I think of my favorite RV sales girl, Katie O'Neill, and then, you know, my wife, Barb and myself, Joe, but you might want to think about Arizona and then the house that you have, you know, up in Michigan. So that you have these profiles set so that all of your navigational addresses, radio stations, all of those things are set for the places that you go most frequently. Um, so as you can see, this is a really easy to operate system. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time going through it, but you can see it's super simple to get your phone connected. You have all of these hot buttons down below. So you can actually you know, go through your assistance features, your vehicle, your light system. Everything is down here at the touch of a button. So you don't have to fiddle around with the screen. But if you want to get the screen up and running, all you got to do is push that button. Oh, here, I got to turn that one on for the camera. 
Uh, another cool feature to know about, um, if this key battery is dead and the coach needs to uh, be able to read the key, it goes down there. It is not common sense. If you've been in the position where you haven't been able to find it in the past, don't feel bad. It's not your fault. There's my camera. And then as you can see, I have different views. I can just touch here. I can even have this little view, which is pointing just directly down so I can get my, uh, my uh, tow vehicle lined up. And then there's my backup camera widescreen. But like I said, so simple to be able to go back and forth through all of these different screens. And then of course it's fantastic. It's also voice control. So this is a really big benefit in this coach. Uh, look at this, McDonald's even has the golden arches. Uh, Echo Brewing Company, they must know that it's beer 30. Um, and then everything that you see here is also available here. Um, so one thing I can tell you folks, I worked for Mercedes Benz for 12 years. I am master certified. Um, I'm master guild certified. I've been on multiple factory tours. I know so much. There's a type C ports up here and then a nice little pad and another, uh, this to plug in your radar detector cup holder. I mean, this thing is just so chock full of surge. This, keep in mind, this is a uh, coach that's been designed for people who are working on the road. So pretty fantastic. Um, but like, if you don't know what this SOS feature is, I gotta tell you, I'll bet you there's a lot of people at our competitors that don't know what it is either. Um, the 12 years that I spent at Mercedes Benz really allowed me to feel like it was kind of kismet for me to be here helping you uh, to make your purchase. So. If you feel like I might be the girl for you and you're comfortable with the amount of information I can provide to you, give me a call, please. I make these videos so that you'll call me and you'll buy your RVs for me. It's what makes my livelihood and it's really what I enjoy the most. Um, you know, and I, I don't, like I said, I don't mind going that extra mile, making sure you're getting the delivery that you want. Um, so this coach has some pretty cool features. Here you can see our lane tracking package. So that's a pretty cool feature. You also have this really fantastic Distronic. Uh, that was coming out in 2005 when I first started selling Mercedes-Benz. So they were one of the first founders of that automatic cruise control. This is a really very cool feature on this coach. You've got crosswind assist as well. Um, so there's just a lot of nice things. Now, when we go to put our slides in, I can't have this chair turned around because I have to have my parking brake engaged. And I either have to have the coach on, it doesn't have to be running, or I have to have, like I said, all of these lights have to be on. So the actual coach has to be turned on. The engine does not have to be running. And in or if I do that, then what I can do is I can now I'm gonna hang up my seat. Um, you know, how do you help your clients the most? Walk them through everything, help them understand when they get home, what they need to know so that they can watch this video and really get the fact that that's where you're supposed to hang the chair. I know that sounds silly, but it's such an important thing that this is a huge storage pocket here for you to be able to keep your umbrella in. Um, that yet again, we have another manufacturer that doesn't believe in lip gloss. Just kidding, they left the rear view mirror there. Um, behind that rear view mirror, by the way, is not only your Mercedes Benz, um, connect and uh, the phone system that allows you to be actually connected in an emergency situation, like an SOS situation to Mercedes Benz directly, but also your rain sensing wipers, which is a nice feature to have on any RV. It's something that you don't see in most of them. Um, but so after you've got your engine turned on and your brake set, then you can go ahead and bring your slide in. And we're gonna end this video on the outside uh, today as usual, but I wanted to show this to you because I think what's really important here to see is this is an actual fantastic amount of living space. I have access to my bathroom. I have access to my bedroom. I can pull my little, you know, cover out here, lay down, have my king size bed back here, everything that I want, right? I'm going to go ahead and let Jody get back there so he can see that. Um, that cushion just flips over, but you know, I can do all of this from the inside of my coach in a parking lot. So if I get to my next destination and it's a little bit late and I don't wanna pull my slides out cause I don't wanna really draw any attention to the fact that I might be sleeping in my vehicle, I can just pull up, park, drop my shades. No one will know any better. 
Um, I am here camping, getting some, some shut eye so I can get on the road safely. And then after that, I can get back up and hit the road the next day, but I never had to put a slide out to be comfortable in my RV. Um, that's one of the reasons I love the 24V. Um, if I can make a recommendation for a coach, this is my favorite floor plan. My name is Katie O'Neill. I'm coming to you live here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like I said, call me, text me, email me. Let me know how I can help. All of my con contact information is down below. Um, I'm more than happy, even if you're not gonna buy something from me, if you just need someone to give you some troubleshooting or answer a question, maybe while you're camping, let me know. Love to be of assistance. Please let me know how I can get you out on the road and camping. Thank you so much for tuning in.